In this lesson, we're going to talk about some more advanced CAD tools, such as an elliptical arc, mirroring, curved text, a linear pattern, and welding objects together. So let's get started here. We'll go to the software, and let's start with making an elliptical arc. So we're going to make the center right at 0, 0. We'll make the my major radius 8 and the minor radius 5. We'll make it start right around 10 degrees and finish right around 170. Now we can just go to the palette over here and just say we want exactly 10 and exactly 170 here. When we're done we check it in. It looks good. Now let's mirror it to make the other side of the football. So we're going to go to the mirroring tool. So first it says select the object that we want to mirror. Let's do this. It turns red. And we right click on it. And then let's say that we want to copy the object so we actually make a copy of it. We'll go to the endpoint. Here is the start of the mirror line. And this endpoint is the end of the mirror line. And there we have our football shape. And when we're done, we just check it in. It looks good. So now we're going to draw some text. So let's go to our text tool. And we'll do that. I already have written here that it says go bear. So we'll just put the text anywhere. And when we're done, we just check it. And we say we're done there. Um, now let's go ahead and curve this on top of the football. So to do that we're going to go to our curve text tool. We choose it. It says first we need to choose the text. So let's do that. And then we're going to select the curves. So let's do that. And there we go. So now we have the text go bears in here. And Let's go ahead and flip it so we can flip it and we can put it on top of the football however we want and notice how we could also play with the offset so I could have made it go higher or lower for even more intersection and we can change the kerning we can change the line spacing and we could also change the alignment. So right now I'm in the curve center. I could have gone below the curve. I could have gone on the curve, above the curve. So let's just go back to the curve center and say that that's where we like it. And we check it in. Now if we look at this, we say, you know what, I want this uh, font to change a little bit. We still have the ability to do that. So all we do is we click on the text and let's say we just want to make it bold so we just do that and now it's larger and we check that in and if we want to change the location of it we can go back to the curve text and center it a little bit better now we explode the text And then we want to go to the welding tool. So before we do that, we're going to select everything. We're going to weld the selected entities. We're going to combine all the letters with the football. So it's all one entity. Like that. Then we can draw some laces on the football. So let's just go to our rectangle tool. And we'll just draw a lace right there. So we have a lace there. Draw another lace right there. And then instead of just drawing a bunch of new rectangles, what we're going to do is select that rectangle so we're going to use the alt tool so we can chain around it and then we're going to use the linear pattern so go to the linear pattern 
and it defaults to one inch in a count of two. So let's see. Let's up it. So we're happy with it, and that looks pretty good. And we'll check that in. And now we can weld this too. So let's go ahead and choose all the laces and use the Weld Entities tool. And they're all welded. So now we are ready to cut the football. We're going to just go right into CAM, and it's going to create a tool path for us. And there we are. So we can just go ahead and create the tool path. If we like it and we're ready to cut, we throw that over to CNC, and there's all of our G code for our football. So that goes over some of the advanced features, such as curvy text, elliptical arc, mirroring, and the linear grid function, and also the welding. Thank you for your time.